Hi, how are you? Good, I'm Chia with The Courier Journal. Nice to see both of you. You as well. Thank you, thank you. So I saw you tweeting all about, you know, being excited about being at the Unbridled uh, Gala tonight. What are you most excited about? Um, well, last year we had such a wonderful time. There are so many great people here. Um, just getting to know people from around the country and they're all here for the Derby, but also to support this important cause tonight, Blessings in a Backpack. And um, the music was fantastic last year. Everybody was dancing. Um, and and it's, it, for us, it's this chance to get away, the two of us doing something really special because we have four kids and we very rarely leave them. So this is like an adult weekend, the Derby. It's sort of like we get to be big kids at a really exciting event, so. Yeah, we get to play dress up and uh, see some old friends and have fun, yeah. And, and, and watch the most exciting three minutes in sports. <laughs> there you go, do you have any Derby picks? We pick entirely the emotionally. It's the underdog. At well, the today we went to the Oaks and we just picked by names. And we, we did win a, a win place or show. show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, it, was, it was Daddy's Little Darling who came in second. And, and I picked it entirely for the name for our kids. So there you go, there you go. <laughs> so if you could create a, der a winning derby horse, what would you name it and what would their personality be like? I don't know. Well, a winner would be the personality, right? And then uh, I don't know about the name something to do with our children, but I don't know what it would be, yeah. That's a good question, though. We'll have to come back next year, we'll answer that. We'll have a better That sounds, that sounds better. Like, a good, yeah. like a good option. Um, now, Oscar winner, Derby. How does winning an Oscar compare to being a Derby? I'm just well, the, the, I am not the horse. So uh, in the Oscar, I'm the horse, you know? Like, you're, you're in the race with the other contestants, so I get, to, I get to be somebody attending the event rather than being the one competing for it, so yeah. So I'm it's, sure it's the derby life. racer, the, the rider, is probably like an Oscar winner, right? I mean, he would feel the same sort of sense of joy and accomplishment and excitement yeah, on that definitely. day. It's probably the biggest day of the year for jockeys. Yeah, oh. and, the, and the horse owner and trainer and everybody, so they probably have that same incredible moment that I had when I realized that I won, and I didn't expect to win. So, you know, it, it feels like you have such this rush of happiness and gratitude and love for and from everybody, you know, so... I'm sure that everyone in the horse world feels that way about the Derby. So do you have any favorite spots in Louisville since you've been here before? Any places that you like to enjoy or are you just like, okay, we're away from the kids, let's just chill? Just letting our, our, our local friends show us around. Like last night we actually went out to dinner in Anchorage. and that was beautiful. Really yeah. yeah, and it was yeah. sort of a, a total, you know, departure from downtown Louisville. Um, last year we went to a great breakfast place, but I can't remember what it was called. Crack and eggs or something like that. It's right in this about area. Wild eggs. Wild eggs, yeah. And that was Shout fantastic. out to Wild Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll be back there tomorrow morning, I'm sure. <laughs> well, thank you so much and have a great derby. Thank, thank you very you. much. Derby. Take care.